Hello, everyone. We're going to be just jumping right back into some ALR meeting my surgeon. Oh, my God. Is this the fifth time? I think it is the fifth time we're meeting the surgeon. We're meeting the surgeon for the first time, for the fifth time. Uh-huh. Uh, in clinic weigh-in, wh what surgery I'm getting, and weight loss goal. And this is almost a half hour long video. So I have a feeling we're going to be doing some skipping because I just straight up don't think she's capable of making a half hour of watchable content. Now it's going to be a lot of rambling. All right, let's see what's up. I said, let's see what's up. Hello, you guys. Welcome to a new video. Oh, so wow. I'm going to start off with an Amazon haul. And I'm starting this video with this haul. Because you know, I need all the freaking... things that are in the description are going to be in like the last 15 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Haul these shoes because... These are the shoes that I'm wearing today. Um, they're just a pair of black flats. I needed a new pair. It was about that time. So it's just Amazon Essentials. That black flats. A hard so I love wearing those. Shoes I also got a, a new maxi dress. I have been definitely enjoying a maxi dress. So All right, we're speeding this up more. This is what she looks like. I love the color. She is And the pink. design. Super cute. Obviously, it's super long. Um, I'm in a weird seating position. Why would you get horizontal stripes? I don't think people do not wear the horizontal stripes like they used to. It used to be a thing, but I don't think it's a thing anymore. I don't know. This is the brand, again, off of Amazon. So if you are a bigger gal like me, they do have um, clothes on there. So I like to fidget. I'm a fidgety gal. Um, if you guys don't know... You're a grown adult who pays the IRS and you're buying actual children's toys. Something about me, it is that I fidget, and I fidget a lot. So I like little fidgety things. And can, can I, a random weird thing that that just reminded me of? At my mother's house, I found a keychain. That's one, it's just one of those fidget bubbles, like goes on the side of that. And it's from like Anthem Insurance Company logo keychain. Why would they give that out? It's just one little fidget bubble and a keychain from like an insurance company it's weird it's so weird has been buying me fidgety things because usually i just fidget with things that aren't supposed to be fidgeted with this hairbrush but since she started buying me fidgety stuff when did fidget become the personality trait um since amber decided that's a new baby trait that she can have and mommy valine can buy her stuff i saw this on tiktok <laughs> it's like a little fidget <laughs> popper thingy but it's like in a game where you have to and pop them like, as fast as There's like several different Mommy modes. Um, I got the pink one, of course. More than positive, I have to turn on the batteries for it to work. Uh, yes. Turn on the batteries. We need batteries. So I'm not going to mess with it right now. But when I do start playing with it, I'll definitely show you guys. Next thing is I write a lot of notes throughout the day. Notes that um, I don't need like a journal for. <laughs> see, now this is something I could see Amber getting. Yeah, like it's cute. this. It's this like is a Lego notepad. This is right up her alley. Anything like that. So, uh, my journals are for journaling, but I, I have um, like a lot of things I just jot down throughout the day. So I found these Lego freaking, but they're not note sticky notes. Paper things. I was hoping they'd be guys, sticky notes. When I saw this on my homepage on Amazon, I literally died. So, so cute. And there's dark, light. It's just all green. It's cute. Is, is it cute? that my phone? That was was that phone. in the video? That was her phone. So, so cute. And... Okay, that's my... That's my alarm. Yeah. There's dark, light, and then this, like, bluish color. So freaking adorable. So, yeah. Next thing is we needed some coasters for our new uh, coffee table. Because if you're going to put your drink on there... <clears throat> okay, we're skipping. So, yeah. That is everything from my Amazon haul. So bad. Ice cube um, I have to leave in 19 minutes. So, I'm going to go finish getting ready. And, yeah. Wish me luck. Oh, I am still absolutely shook it every time I walk cute. into the living room because I forget about our new rug and coffee table. I think Wasabi loves it too because oh, the right cat here, is cute. sorry, <laughs> I have to send some stuff in the mail so I have a Sharpie to write the uh, address on, but under this table right here, he made that his spot, what? but I think he liked it right there yeah. too. Yeah. Bring in my cute Kate Spade. Oh, oh she's going outside. Hello. Okay, so oh, we're back I'm actually house. in the middle of proof of towels. outside. That was good though. And I am going to shower. So my hair. Proof is of shower. Are you gonna wash your hair? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, boy. Is before I shower, always brush it because I will not. See, I didn't say You it. didn't say anything. Will not brush my hair wet. It just, it pulls out so much of your hair. It causes more split ins. But I'll brush it and then until I get split in the shower, ends? I'll just put it in just a low. Your hair looks wet like that, right now. Which is one of my least favorite looks, but um, that's just what I do. Oh, hi. Until I get in the no shower. Here. Um, I forgot that I had some laundry I had to do. So I want to out. complete that. Ow. Oh, I did it first. Oh, so I do want to talk to you guys. Just Look at how greasy that is. That's crazy. A little bit about meeting my surgeon today. Like, can we believe? Can we believe that we're meeting him for the first time? <laughs> the fifth time. Believe that it finally <laughs> happened. It was such a good appointment, and I am more hopeful than I literally have been. So, your girl. Is pumped. So let me go shower and I will see you guys when I'm done. Okay, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Why oh. would you? Hair's not wet. Not shower before your doctor's appointment. Hair's not wet. Um, I just got in my shower, so I usually have um this in my hair for I don't know about 20 minutes, and it's been about 10. So um, if midway through you see this not on my head, then it's just because it was time to take it off because I don't want to leave it on there for too long. Up change. So just for the sake of like, I can be super long winded. Um, I'm kind of just gonna give like bullet points in a way. Um, Thank you. I can skip the nonsense. That, then. that was said during the appointment or <laughs> goals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, instead of just giving like a narration of the whole thing because it was kind of a long appointment. Um, overall, it was actually really good. And like I have been saying, when it comes to the whole weight loss surgery thing, there is something um, that has happened um and i am warming up to the idea of speaking more I about it but about. the only reason why <laughs> i feel like i have to constantly say this that i am saying that something is happening and i am not telling you guys is because when i finally do tell you guys i don't want people to be like wow you lied and you didn't tell us i'm letting you know right so now it's something controversial saying, um for that reason because i'm trying to yeah be that's transparent. so weird she she's just trying to figure out the correct story to tell i think yeah she doesn't want to just say whatever and then that not be true. But like I said, for my well-being, I'm not ready to share. So first things first, um, I have assumed that during surgery, I would get my gallbladder removed. And why would you assume that? Because she supposedly has gallbladder problems. And often they take it out if you actually have gallbladder problems when they do the surgery. And I, I'm not that kind of doctor, but I don't think they could just like... Well, she's open already. Let's just reach over there and grab it. I mean, they do if you have issues with your gallbladder. So, obviously, I brought this. Maybe she doesn't, actually. So, they're telling her, no, you don't need to take it out. Well, her eyes look yellow. I don't think that's gallbladder. That's no, liver. It's up to my I don't think they today. could take that out. No, you you need a liver. Yeah, I and think so. I asked, okay, so during surgery, um, if I have gallstones still, since I was diagnosed with uh, sludge in my gallstones, which is something completely different. And I let him know that, um, will you take out my gallbladder? Like, is that something you will do? And he said that he doesn't have like a full answer right now, if he will or not until he sees more. So, Oh, I, she, that's going to be the thing again. Maybe. Although they're not doing anything for my gallbladder. So it's not going to work. Cancel the whole thing. Oh, so, uh, he's actually Maybe. referring to get an ultrasound of like my liver gallstone area. So that is something that is new, a new test that was um, just thought of like today in the appointment. So I will be getting that done. But he explained that sometimes like depending on the person waiting to get Are your you gallbladder. Are you stealing my out, cat? Um, I don't want it around me. Your lap is bigger than mine. It's more comfortable. Just to perch more to sit on my leg. On a completely separate different time is actually better. So again, look at her petting. She's, she's petting me. herself on the desk, Dad. So the Pet whole that cat. Months, uh, don't make her pet herself. Me to get uh, it's 12 months from now? Wow, that year keeps getting pushed back a lot. Uh. He said that was crazy. Um, he said it was actually oh. just like a recommendation, and I will explain more of why that was a recommendation. That is part of what I'm not telling you guys so far. Uh, I know it's confusing. Trust me, when I explain to you guys and I come back to these like storylines and situations. Um, cause None of this makes sense. I feel like it has to do still with the binge diagnosis. Yeah. And the and the no longer binge diagnosis. Yeah, I, I feel like it's something about that, and she's gonna get caught in a lie for whatever she's saying. Uh huh. She's just waiting till it's done and over with, so she can be like, "Oh well, I still got it anyways." So yeah. fuck you guys. Yep. 
because I'm sure you, it's leaving you guys confused because I know as a viewer, I'd be like, what is happening? You guys would probably look at it and be like, oh, okay. I get it now. I understand. But uh, the yeah, second said like that 12 months thing was crazy. So um, he even said like, no, I want to meet her one-on-one. -on -one. I want to have another second opinion. I thought you've met him like three times so far. That's really weird. And that's when he got a second opinion. And I would, that's when I was told, okay, let's do 12 therapy sessions. So that is still what Go. stands that I'm going to. She wants to stay. Let her hang on. We're going to see if, you know, my view towards food and the way that I treat food changes. And we're going to see if I improve in the next three to four months. And if I do, I will be getting weight loss surgery. So another thing I want to talk if about. If she improves. It, in the next four months. <laughs> So it'll yeah we've already, we had to do twelve so therapy sessions. So we'll be sessions. eight months in four months. She's been through at least three of these four maybe of these therapy sessions that she only had to do three months of. Uh. I chose now it's again three or four months. Yeah, because well, she she is a binge eater. She is a binge. Eater. What operation I wanted? Um, there are a few different weight loss surgeries that you can get, and I chose which one I thought would be best for me, and. You know, after all the research, the classes I've gone to. You've been watching YouTube videos. Well, I mean, Seminar, that's a way to figure out what you want. Uh, the education, you know, just going to these appointments. But really, it's the doctor that's going to tell you what you need. Yep. Just everything. I chose what I thought would be best for me. And he actually disagreed. And I loved, oh my God, that like made me so happy when he disagreed because it's like, he wasn't just saying what I wanted. He was like, no, actually, I think this would be better for you. I wanted the gastric bypass. And... He doesn't think that would be best for me. So I'm actually going to be getting a Sadie. I have quite a few friends, well-known friends, actually, from TV shows. I'm famous. Well-known friends from TV shows because I am a celebrity and I have TV show friends. I'm an icon. Yes. Does she over... I think she feels like because she watches people on TV, she knows them. So she can be like, people I know. Does Joe Rogan follow you on Twitter? <laughs> that have gotten that and have lost hundreds of pounds. Uh, the surgeon told me that by getting this, you will lose a lot of weight if you follow plan and what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's a big if. if. And oh my God, when he said that my BMI could be below 30, I laughed. I did. I was like, oh my God, there's just no way. Like I can't envision myself that. She's going to blow through whatever they put in her the first time at least. I hope not. I hope, I hope. she does it right. I do too, but... I just know our girl. If you will. That was like really, really nice to hear. Right now, I don't feel as educated as I can be on this operation. So if you guys want to do more research on it, you can definitely do that. But once I feel confident it's in sharing for me. Like, I'm not more about it, then I'll do it. It's just I don't want to like... Uh, I feel as though if someone were to take the time, do some research, and share their findings with Amber... <sighs> She would be so angry. Oh, God, yeah. And she would want nothing to do with any of the advice that you gave yeah. her. She would be furious. Give off any facts <laughs> that aren't um, accurate. <laughs> so I'm going to do more research. Of course, he's going to teach me more about it. Um, oh, this is from, I think, like three days ago. What's the view count on this? 51,000. That is way up from her normal. It is. Well, oh, what's, she's, she's putting things about weight in the title. This what's the to like work. to dislike? 767 likes that's more than usual that's about on par and 6.6 k dislikes oh so like 10 to 1 <laughs> yeah yeah 51 30 yeah you're up a little bit from your average of 30 thousand views 40 yeah, it's the word um, way in the title well. it's just crazy because i was so dead set on gotcha. and it, it just it's a way and look what she did in the thumbnail oh it's a whole she body scratched it out <laughs> and a scale wow I pass like that's like what I feel in my heart and Death. I'm putting my life in the surgeon's hands and I completely trust him so I'm okay with the change so I have done absolutely everything that they have asked me to do and I was actually doing um Instagram Q&A's today and I was getting a lot of people saying like what do you mean you haven't done anything they told you to do <laughs> you've gained weight and I'm over here like ma'am no um, no remember when I lost that 10 pounds like months ago I, I was doing the right thing then. Okay, so anybody who doesn't know her weigh in, she's like 529 or something like that. Oopsie. Amber, oopsie. that's. You gained like 30 pounds <laughs> this month. Yeah. But no, 20 pounds. 20 to 30 pounds this month. No. But she knows in her mind when she's on track and she loses weight mentally. No, it's just her brain. That's what happens. Falling out. Um, I actually <laughs> filmed myself stepping on the scale today yes i did inside of the place yes i did yeah you were like 5 10 at the beginning of april uh they know i have a youtube so <laughs> they understood so when i first went there uh, my first appointment I oh was... 
she's told everybody she's a YouTuber, okay, at this doctor's office. Something she wants to say is a complete lie, and she does not want the doctor's office to see her YouTube and know that she was lying. That's this, I'm not telling you guys mm -hmm. something. She wants to say something, but she wants it to be when she's done with the doctors. Yeah, that's a good catch. Yep. What makes me laugh is that... They're probably not watching her YouTube. No. But in her mind, they're all like watching her like she's the, a celebrity. They're probably, and she's afraid they're going to know that she's lying. They're probably looking up her name and the reaction channels pop up. Uh -uh. And you see shits like us. You see <laughs> Pulpy, <laughs> Michael B. Petty. Everyone's popping up going, she is a fucking liar. <laughs> 533. You know, I have clothes on, obviously. And you're going to see in this um, clip... Oh, 530. So Sorry. So over 20 pounds. I'm also wearing clothes. Well, so they don't it, it, she's wearing a maxi dress that probably weighs two pounds. Oh. Here with a number on my And ballet shoes That's not that probably business. weigh not half my, a like, pound. Or anything. They don't so she's got to subtract like 10 pounds. Yeah, I, I've been a big advocate of the, yes, your clothes make you weigh more shit. And I put it to the test today because I weigh myself on the gym scale. Mm -hmm. And I have my shoes on. I have my phone and my wallet in my pocket. And I weighed myself, then I took that shit off, and I weighed myself again. It was like a six-pound difference. Yeah, but you're wearing, like, actual shoes, actual pants, phone, keys, hoodie. She's wearing a very thin dress and ballet slippers. I was like, I didn't realize it was that much. I always thought it was like a pound or two pounds. Like a freaking six-pound difference. It depends on what kind of clothes you have on. I care what my scale says. They go off of um, when I weigh myself at their clinic, which also I'm now officially going to be doing monthly weigh-ins with them where I physically go in and step on their scale so we can see progress. And they did give me a goal for how much they want me to lose this month. Like so I will share you that with you. But when I first went there, um, I weighed in at 533 with clothes on and also have some earrings on. It doesn't matter. And the goal was to lose one pound. She's and so her, earrings. When I... her earrings that weigh an ounce. Well, maybe if I take my headphones into account, it'll be <laughs> yeah. seven ounces less. Step on the scale. <laughs> I was nervous, obviously. I actually lost five pounds since I last saw them, and I was. But, okay, so you lied about your way in before then. Yeah. Either you're lying now, which you, you're you not because you, you post a photo of it, or you were lying before when you said you were 522. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Right here. I don't think I'm over 600 pounds, so. What is it? <laughs> is it bad? How it's still. I Oh, as you can kind of see, I was like, is it, is it bad? I'm going to say 530. Five, five, oh, as you can kind of see, I was like kind of shocked. Um, Feline was the one filming and she clicked off too soon, but like I was literally so shocked, but I'm actually glad that I have this clip because you guys can see for yourself that I'm not 600 pounds. I know a lot of people think that my weigh-ins are fake and that just goes to show that they're not. And it has been. We, we thought they were. When you were doing it and saying, oh, I'm only 530 and you will look the exact same. You, you said you weighed the exact same as here. But you didn't look the same. No. It's been a long time coming where people wanted to see me step on a scale. Could you imagine being excited to be 530 pounds? Yeah, she was excited. I gave it to you. It's been a long time coming where people wanted to see me step on a scale at a doctor's. I gave it to you. Not only that, but I'm stepping on. I gave it to you. This is my gift to you. You know what? I remember not long ago when she had that little on track, off track, off track, off track, off track, off track journal she yeah. was keeping. And she was like 490 something, 502. And then it just kept going up. That wasn't up, that long up, ago. Up, 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 up. Like, what, why didn't we stay there? Th that was this year. Yeah, it was not long. It was a few months ago. So. Why are we just going up, up, up? You were doing the whole thing. You were counting the calories and on track, off track, and doing that. What? What? You just gave up when they told you you had to wait. She just gave up. Yeah. That's what happened. That was you, when she was prepping for surgery, you don't, and she was down like ten pounds, and she was doing it. You don't accidentally gain thirty pounds in a couple months. No. You know, scale that is meant for people like me and my size at a weight loss clinic, and it's one hundred percent reliable. There it is, folks. There it, it is, folks. Really sad when people are like, "You are not following." Oh, here we go. Here's you. the attack on the audience. Yep. Every single thing that they have told me to do, I am doing. I think there's just like this misconception of what certain people watching me think I should do versus what my surgeon wants me to do or what my dietitian wants me to do. It's it's completely different than how majority of you want me to be. Like I see what people say, um, like during my grocery hauls or when I share a food. People are like she shouldn't be eating that. It's literally allowed. <laughs> like everything that I. No, they don't allow soda. They don't allow ramen. You can't eat that once you get weight loss surgery. 
eat, it is okay. I am allowed. Why would you take a shower and not get your hair wet? Her hair is wet. Her hair is washed. It's not washed? Yeah, it is. Eat. Um, the way that they talk about weight loss and food is so just like such a healthy way of thinking. And even the surgeon's like, I'm not going to send you home and have you only eat 1200 calories. It's like literally not going to happen. I'm not going to give you these big weight loss goals. It's literally not going to happen. No, okay. no it's not going to happen yet. Yeah, that's fine. It's not going to happen, but you could still try eating less. You've gained 30 pounds in like three months. I don't want to like talk about the negativity. I just feel like there is. I think it was a Yabba stream that said, do you know how many calories you have to intake to maintain this weight on a five foot two person? I imagine a lot. It's like 4,800 calories Jesus. a day. And now how much do you think to gain 10 pounds a month? Like twice that. So much negativity about, around weight loss surgery on my channel. And I don't get it. Like another really big thing for me is like when people are like, you're only getting therapy so you can get weight loss surgery. You are. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is how it started. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I am going to therapy to save my life. I am going through therapy so I can get put on anesthesia. I can get put in a very vulnerable spot that could kill what? me or cause horrible complications to save my life. Yes, that is what I'm doing. And yes, what? that is why I started therapy. I don't get it. And yes, that is why I'm trying to figure out my issues with food so I can save my life. <laughs> and the fact that that's like a bad thing to some people makes no that's sense. That's not a bad thing. We're, uh. we're just saying... You're going to therapy so you can get the surgery. You've been pretending that you've been going to therapy for years, but you, you haven't been. Yeah. You're just doing it now so you can get surgery. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You have to to get surgery. Yep. I'm going to therapy to save my life. Yeah, that is what I'm doing because <laughs> it's time. It is very much time. I'm not going to therapy just so I can buy a puppy or buy a new piece of jewelry. Like so many people are treating like weight loss. Well, no, you are going so you can buy a not binge eating disorder. Diagnosis, but <laughs> that's... as like this this materialistic thing that I'm striving to receive. While no, I am she just far. so hopeful yeah. and trying that to do everything. Cat. That she's, such a oh, yeah. she's playing with the box. She didn't and fart. Yeah, I am absolutely without a doubt changing my life for a weight loss surgery because weight loss surgery is going to be a very okay. She's just repeating herself, like yes. physically, and I do not want to be under this type of like just negative energy. I don't. I don't understand. Stop watching things why. you don't like. Well, it's, it's kind of on you. You've cultivated this. That's true. I, people are treating me getting weight loss surgery as like this materialistic thing. I because you treated it that way. You threw a hissy fit when you when they said you had to wait. Like, no, I want it now. I mean, yeah, she, she did act very materialistic about she can just pay for it. She shouldn't have to wait. I do, I don't understand it. I don't think I ever will. Like this has been one of no, the hardest you won't, choices you're I've so ever had. Because you're so disconnected from reality. You, you're not there anymore, but you ate yourself to the top 1% of America. Right. It's, you're just disconnected from reality. You don't understand that most people don't get what they want right away. No. Nope. Is getting the surgery because I am terrified. <laughs> if I wasn't, then I don't know. Something would be wrong with me because this is very scary. Sorry, I'm rambling. I just, I'm very passionate about this because I am going through the stages of getting weight loss surgery and people are just really downplaying the things that I have done and the work that I am putting into it. What have you done besides gain weight this entire year to prep for this? She's paying a therapist to give her diagnoses. I, I don't understand. The things I have done, what have you done? She went to a doctor's appointments. Because you aren't physically And she filled out it. paperwork. If you put your nose to the grindstone and you really tried to lose weight, you, and you started where you were at the beginning of the year, which was right at or under 500, you would be at like 450 by now. Oh, absolutely. She's not trying. That's, that's not what they want for me. They literally said today, my surgeon, my surgeon made this exact movement right now. The scale comes second. This comes first. This is what we want to work on for these three to four months. This. So I worried about strokes and heart attacks. Um, <laughs> I was very nervous and I said, I'm very goal oriented. I feel like I need oh. that to feel like I am Yes, I'm, I'm very goal-oriented person. Um, so I, I, I always meet it. my goals. I want to see where the goal, goal is. Successful. I want to see where the goal is, and then I avoid that at all costs. <laughs> yes. A goal. How much do they want me to lose in these next four weeks? And I was expecting like 20 pounds. So the surgeon and the dietitian want me to lose one pound a week. So I have to lose four. Oh my God. This is the second time we've heard this. Mm -hmm. Four pounds in this month, which I am going to do. 
So one pound a week. Okay, for how many weeks? Because that is what... Three to four months. So they want you to lose 20 pounds, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. Why not just say I have till August to lose 20 pounds? Because they don't say it like that. They make it easy. Because if they said it like that to her, she would freak out and just start binging because 20 pounds is scary. But if they tell her one pound a week, in her brain, she can somehow poop that out and know she'll be okay. Like I said, they just want to see improvement, even if it's half a pound, even if it's one pound. But um, I like that they gave me that like weekly. So it's a four pound loss in a month. I know I got that. So I have to step on their scale and be 524. Right. I know I got Let's that. And I'm going to continue doing, you know, what they want me to do. It's so funny. I said how I didn't want to be long winded and here I am being long winded. It's just because I like, I'm really passionate about this and people are yeah, trying to take away my joy. Running late. Like it'd be different if like y'all were talking like, shit about this purse, which you have. Taking away your joy. <laughs> Wow. Did she say that? I'm pretty sure she said that. How I didn't want to be long-winded, and here I am being long-winded. It's just because like, I'm really passionate about this, and people are trying to take away my joy. Oh, my God. Nobody's taking anything from you, ma'am. It's the audience's fault again. What? Y your joy is yours to have. Nobody can take it away. Like, it'd be different if, like, y'all were talking shit about this purse. Which You'd you be offended about that, too. Yeah, see, what you have... Right. <laughs> It'd be different if it was that. It would be, it's different when y'all talk shit about me having my AirPods in my ears all the time. Like, whatever. It is what it is. But when it's something as serious as safe. Yeah, because if this is your job, you should at least try to put in a little effort. In my life, so I can live for possibly 20 more extra years. Yeah, no, we're on board with it, but you actually, you just have to d d do the thing. You're not doing the thing, but you have to do the thing. Yes. Like, how is that a bad thing? How is that... Like, no, it's a great thing, but we're just used to you getting these big ideas and then not following through with it, Amber. I'm say she's only going to therapy to get weight loss surgery. How is that even a sentence that someone can come up with? <laughs> I mean, you just said that's what you're doing. Yeah, you just you said literally you just were. said, yes, I am. God, she is so disconnected. <laughs> she doesn't even realize she's doing it. I swear she doesn't even realize she's doing it. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely am. Because I want to change my life. I want to survive. Yeah, how could you say okay, that? I mean, I am again. doing it, but how could you say that? Is she still just repeating she's, herself? She's repeating I, herself. I want to live. So if that's what I got to do, then that's what I'm going to do. And that's the part where it's like, bro, you have to be responsible. You have to do what you have to do before um, getting surgery or you're going to fail. Yes. I know my supporters are so exhausted for me having to constantly talk about like the negative things that I mean you don't have to that's the thing yeah, you, you just choose to just have your joy and be positive and talk to your she supporters got... who love you that mail you lovely packages in the mail you just talk to them and she be happy got about it such insane support when that whole french thing happened uh -huh. she got such ridiculous insane support and she never acknowledged it of course not her videos were trending in the positive with the like to dislike ratio, she was getting four something thousand likes a video. Yeah. And that that's just disappeared. She has just chased off a full new audience. Yeah, because they watched her just sit and scream at the audience. Revolve around my channel, but it's like, with this subject, it is too passionate <laughs> for me not to talk about. And for those of you who are supportive and- well, What is this, the third video no this week? There's been something that she to needs talk to talk about, about? Nobody's telling her not to talk about it. She can talk about it all she wants. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I feel you and I see you. I promise. We just have to get more people on board with the positivity because um, it's going to really help me too. And I feel like I just really want this community to. Or you I, could just not watch the people who aren't positive. I am on board and I hope it works. I just know better. <sighs> I just know better. Change. I really, really do. Um, but I still need to be able to be passionate and use my voice. But I still need to be a victim. So I have to seek out negative comments and talk about them. That's what we're doing. I am like super passionate about and have strong opinions about, especially when it comes to me saving my life. So I hope that you guys understand. Okay. So I know this has been like a super long, um, me just rambling, but I still want to do PO box time. Oh, yay. Right, oh, from, first, from all the haters who hate with me a little bag like are this. so negative. And we have a note. Okay, that took me a minute to open. Let me tell you. So I had to use scissors. It was like a whole thing because it wouldn't open from the top. Okay. You ripped the Amazon gift bag. Those things so are here wonderful. We have what looks oh my like God. Kermit the Frog. Oh my God. She got a Kermit. I am so happy for Someone her. Someone named Frank sent this to me. They oh God. <laughs> it was totally random. I have not seen a Kermit in years. I mean. 
She knows exactly. <laughs> she, she knows. knows exactly where that came from. She knows. This is she had a Kermit Amber. I've ever seen, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you. This package is next. We have a book from Tracy called Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics. I actually have recently been wanting to meditate. Feline does, and it helps her a lot. And she's always like, you should meditate, you should meditate. So this is a great gift. Thank you so much, Tracy. This package is next. And in here, what do we have? Ooh, pretty things inside. No notes. It's a little box. It says pretty things inside. Oh my god, Kimberly Dawn jewelry. These cute cat earrings. Look how adorable. Oh, on the back it says from Keisha. Kimberly Dawn jewelry on Etsy. And then there's another one. This is a cat keychain. Oh my gosh, if you guys like cats, like look how adorable. Oh, with some floral. I love this. Thank you. Next package. I'm going to read this letter. It's some random like pros or something. So I don't know who it's from. Um, when you guys write me, definitely say who you who you are, what your name is, and all that, so I can shout you out. This letter or card, it feels like a card, is next. And look how cute. That sticker is so this card is from tracy and she was so sweet on the inside thank you so much and then she sent me these adorable stickers oh my god look look at that dog look at <laughs> so last night we talked about the issue I, i've had with the p.o box or all my shit's getting damaged uh -huh. i i posted that tweet and they messaged me on twitter usps whatever really? system they have he's like okay where is your p.o box and i told him like Okay, we'll message the manager in that area. I'm like, can you do that? Because I picked the worst area I could for my P.O. box, <laughs> and I'm paying the top amount. Can you fucking fix it? <laughs> the doggos. Oh, my God, what's I say? Love your dog. Yes. Love my dog more than anything. More dogs. This is so cute. High five. And then this one. Thank you this so much, Tracy. This is 1.5 right, guys, sped up. It's time being interviewed by you. Okay. That's it. We could just cut it off here. No, we have to I watch the interview. I don't like these. We're watching the I interview. I don't like these. We're watching the interview. I got the AAA meeting. We can watch the can interview. Can you address why you said sizzling my, you know, I'm not like trying to attack you. It's more like, why? Why, why, why would you do that? No, I don't care, Skip. Nizzling or something? I don't even know what I said. So, you guys don't see the side of me, which I kind of want to start showing. Weird one. Don't. It's, she said sizzle my nizzle. Who gives a shit? Yeah, nobody gives a shit, but that's racist now. Oh, I love you too. And thank you so much for the question. Um, I'm actually in the middle of watching the first Avatar. I watched it like... When it okay, skip this one. A little bit there. Listen, I'm talking. Videos. Um, we're from Cincinnati and we were wondering, since you're from Lexington, if you've ever Gosh. had Skyline Chili and what are your thoughts? Love you. Bye. Oh, I love you guys. In the beginning of that, when you guys were in unison. Every part of that question was gross. Yeah. Cincinnati, disgusting. <laughs> Skyline Chili, also disgusting. No idea what it is. Sounds it's helpful. the that's where the chili spaghetti thing comes from. What? No, so cute. So Amber um, would like no, that. I actually have not, but thank you for the question. Hi Amber, I am talking from Canada, and I just wanted to know what your opinion of um, eloping with my fiance is and not telling my family. I'm giving. I don't care about any do of it. that. Why do you, you want Amber's life advice? And if you do do it, I need to know. Send me pictures. Give me updates. Anyways, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go. I've been talking for literally ever. I have to edit this video. I have actually a super. Okay, I'm glad we watched that. Well, I wanted to That's see if it was anything interesting. 30 seconds, I'm never going to get back. Well, I had to see if anything happened. Because sometimes we skip it, and the people in the comments say we missed the best thing. I feel okay with that. Well, I don't. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for coming and hanging out. i got to get ready for the show. I'll catch you later. Bye.